Continue with the rehearsal. Time is pressing, please. We've got up to the UK ambassador. Pick me up in London and brought me here. Okay. I don't know who's here. Yeah. No, no, I want to go back to where we came, don't we? Quite a few of them. What? Across the other side. Yeah, I'll go around there. Yeah. Should go over and talk to you. You might know them. We still see the snow on the mountains and everything in there, and we are in flight to China. So I'll bring you back now to where we are. I'm very sorry, I didn't bring the tripod. On the top of the cross? Oh, the monster. Back here at the actual celebration. Oh! Yeah. Near a sunny in a tank. Mm -hmm. His name was Makai, Danny I mean, Makai. Yeah, well, if I remember right, his, his tent went around with two others and they got knocked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a radio <laughs> silence that day and we weren't allowed and this should never have happened. And after that we declared in divisional signals that we would always open our radios when boys were going forward. Now, well, 
I looked for his grave in the, uh, at the Sangray Cemetery. No, we haven't been there. We've only done the ones around here in the local area. Yes, well, Danny was a friend of my wife's before the war. He was a farmer from Gore. Mm. And he was in the 20th. And somebody told me, would it be CA or see something? Uh, 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 the 20th, uh, 20th Armoured uh, Act. Yeah, well, uh, 20th, they would be C81 if I remember. C1. C81 if I remember. Oh, that I'm, might be I'm, not, I'm, I'm not quite... It's so, such a long time that a lot of us have been forgotten, you know. I found three of my friends who were killed near Asonia, uh, uh, near uh, Sandgrove. Yeah, Sandgrove. And uh, I found their grave. And, uh, but I've only got to find the this fellow Mackay. But I don't know. The Central so Island Fair then, so the moment we've finished the rehearsal, went, and then the because I've had standards North Africa and the processing behind me is lined up, up they want to uh, try to get me a job, but they gave me a dip headquarters in the end, and I went forward and representioned all the places in Senegalia, so I'm the bird that set up Senegalia. That's where we used to send our wounded in that bird. Yes, yes, later on, when you go up to Perth and that, brought them back to the we took over a, um, uh, a sort of a children's uh, holiday resort and we made it uh, one general oh, hello, eh? Yeah, I remember that. Yes, right on the beach. Yes. So was, yes. And then we went on to Rimini. Mm -hmm. Rimini. It's a great honour for me and my fellow officiating chaplains to lead this service of worship and of commemoration this morning with you. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. We're here to do three things. To commemorate the men of all nations who died in this great battle, this terrible battle. To pray and to think of all those who still suffer as a result of war. And third, to pledge ourselves anew to the values of heroism, self-sacrifice and the good of all that so many died for in this place. To remind us of the sacrifice here, I'm going to list some of the casualties from the various nations. From the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, there are commemorated here 2,455 men. From Canada, 855 are commemorated. From New Zealand, 464 are commemorated. From South Africa, 47 are commemorated. From the nations of the subcontinent of India, 432 are commemorated. From Poland, 
1,035 are commemorated. From France, 4,500 are commemorated. From the United States of America, 7,861 commemorated. And from Germany, 2,047. To quote Tom Huggins, Colonel Tom Huggins, who works at the British Embassy here in Italy, as a glimpse of Armageddon, as portrayed by the four battles for Casino, it would not be exaggerated to say that 350,000 Germans fought some 460,000 Allies, resulting in a total of approximately 18,000 deaths. Mindful of this, we begin our commemoration in prayer. Let us pray. Remember, O Lord, all those, the brave and the true, who died the death of honour and are departed in the hope of resurrection to eternal life, especially all those who served in our sea, land and air forces, represented from all the nations here to whom it was given to lay down their lives for the cause of freedom and justice. Give them rest. O Lord, the lover of men, grant this for thine only Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.
は当てる当てかうまあ終わる。はいが玉とは当ておかびつはちょ。ガータマトーテホコビチワーチューマタウエンガーマラガマイラーマラガマイラー Here we are at the Monte Cassino Cemetery, and the crowds have moved away, and we're just having a little bit of lunch. I haven't been able to see any of my friends who were killed at Cassino. I searched for Daddy Mackay's grave, but was unable to find it. So perhaps he's buried in another cemetery. How do you remember this place? How I remember Casino was the inf an infantry battalion went into the railway station to try and take the railway station, but it was heavily, heavily uh, armed by German soldiers. 
and they were driven back at that time. Uh, the next time they went in, they were successful and captured the railway station. They lost a lot of men, the infantry, uh, 22nd Battalion, 23rd Battalion, I think. Anyway, our job was to cut logs and lay them across the stream that ran past Casino Town to enable the tanks to drive across on these logs which were set close together right across the, the, the stream and then they were able to go. That was our main job in Casino and that was at night time when I almost ran over the Padre who was having a sleep on the bank of this stream. When we were in a small town, I was managed to contract tonsillitis and was taken back, right back to base hospital for a few days. While we were there, I met a South African and a Maori boy from the Maori Battalion and the three of us would go walking through the landscape and looking for whatever we could find to eat. We managed to find many places where they grew corn and were able to take some corn. Then we found another plot of rock melons and we were able to take some rock melons and uh, they were beautiful to eat and then we wandered on a bit further and and uh, here we saw a goose three geese the Maori fellow said let's take a goose so he ran to the goose and grabbed it and shoved it in my kit bag which was carrion which was empty carrying it to put rock melons and other food in. But anyway, before we left the, pro the premises, a lady looked out of the window of this farmhouse and let out a scream, and she said, how? Next thing, round the side of the house came a group of men wielding pitchforks. They'd been haymaking round the other side of the house, and they after us. Well, the bag with the goose in, for some reason, ended up in the hands of the South African who was recovering from a broken leg and was unable to run. So the Italians grabbed hold of him, made him pay for the goose, took the goose and the kit bag and let him go. That was one experience. Another one was when we were still waiting to come back to our units. We went to a convalescent camp and there was a, an English man soldier driving a mob of ducks along the road. So the Maori said to me, we could do with one of those ducks. So when the man wasn't there, he managed to